Second Corinthians. Oof. I feel God in here. Second Corinthians chapter. I don't know. I, I didn't know that there's so much anointing talking about body. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting ready for this message Amen. and I was I, I felt the presence of God. Like the, and I felt like I said, God, I should have been teaching money all my life. <laughs> If getting a message ready is already making the room saturated with the presence of God, you better get ready because God's presence is going to hit you. Yeah. Second Corinthians, glory, chapter eight, verse nine. This week you will love this. In fact, you will be a devil not to love it. You will be a devil not to love this. Second Corinthians, chapter eight, verse nine. For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich. Yet for your sakes, he became poor. That you, somebody say me. 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 Through his poverty, might become rich. Yes. For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. If you don't know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, let me explain it to you today. You've heard messages of grace. But you know, I didn't write this. I didn't write the scriptures, right? Mm. Did I write the scriptures? No. no. So if you've been wondering, what is it about grace? Everybody talks about grace. Everybody's preaching grace. What's that? Why do you find the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ? Now, if you don't know it, let me help you know it. You know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. What is his grace? That though he was rich, but he became, let me not use both. Let me use the word the Bible used. Yet, he became poor. So that Pastor Ike, I might be selfish in this service because when it comes to money, I want to claim it for myself. Honestly, I might be selfish in this service. If you have any wisdom, you will write your name there in your Bible. You will write your name right there where you see you, so that you through his poverty. No, no. So that Pastor Ike. That's what your Bible should carry. So that Pastor I write Pastor I in your Bible. If you don't want to claim it for yourself, just write Pastor I in your Bible, right? Just put put it. So that Pastor I through his poverty might be made my God. Hallelujah. Father, bless this moment. Send down your power and break every spirit of poverty. Amen. Do what only you can do. Amen. Take all the glory and all the honor. So in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Now for me to be able to utilize my time, I have to run very quickly. Let me start by establishing the kingdom of God. And helping you understand that there are three components you must appreciate about the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. If you must assess anything in the kingdom of God, you must not lose sight of these three components. Number one, for you to assess anything in the kingdom of God, you have to understand that you must believe. Mm -hmm. Number two, yeah. number two is you must learn how to receive. Number three, you must be responsible. Very quickly, for you to assess anything in the kingdom of God, you must believe. You must know how to receive. You must be responsible. You must believe. You must know how to receive. You must be. I'm going to establish these three components very quick. The way we operate in our kingdom is first and foremost to believe. See, yes, that. Uh, 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 how did the Bible put it right now? The Bible said that blessed is she that believeth. For there shall be a performance of that which was told her. So yeah. performance is traceable to believe. Mm. Ability yeah. to have things happening around you is traceable to your belief system. Mm. If you don't believe it, it will not happen. Mm. Blessed is she that believeth. For the, that's what the angel said to Mary. Blessed is because Mary was wondering, how can I conceive, seeing that I know no man? Mm. But watch, blessed is she that believeth. It might not make sense, but believe it. Yeah. Watch this. It may not make sense. You don't want to go argue with God. How can I conceive? I've not met a man. I'm a virgin. How can I possibly carry a baby in my womb? That does not make sense. So watch. If it does not make sense, still believe it. As long as it's coming from God, it will not make sense. Believe it. It doesn't make sense for you to know that you will be a land owner tomorrow. And if I prophesy that to you, you will say, Pastor I, how can that be? Believe it. Believe it. Don't look for, don't look for sense. As long as it makes Bible sense, it's correct sense. Mm -hmm. yeah. If it doesn't make Bible 
success is nonsense. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Right. <laughs> if he makes Bible sense, correct sense. If he doesn't make Bible sense, nonsense. <laughs> and as long as God says to you, anything will happen, believe it will happen. Yeah. Now watch this, watch this. The way we receive in this kingdom is to believe. Hallelujah. Yeah. Believe. In Acts of the Apostles chapter 16, verse 31, the Bible says, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved, you and your family. Believe. Believe. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. You will be saved. You and your family. Believe. Yeah. Believe. John chapter 3 verse 16. You know it very well. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that uh, whosoever be, watch this, whosoever what? Believe. 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 Whosoever what? Believe. 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 Will not perish but have everlasting life. Amen. You are looking for where your money is. Oh, let me tell you. You have to start by believing God. Amen. 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 You have to start by believing God. Yes. Yeah. When they tell you you will prosper, that demon of doubt comes into your spirit and tells you, how can that be? If I tell you you will be promoted, that demon of doubt comes into your spirit and tells you, how can that be? Believe God! Believe God. I don't know if it's too early to bring this example, but there's this latest keyboard that my musicians won't let me rest. They just need that keyboard. They just need that keyboard. They just need that keyboard. And uh, the uh, motif XF8. XF8. Motif keyboard. And they just need it and they need it and they need it. And this young man in church brought a huge sum of money. Now, Pastor, let's get this keyboard. Mm. And, and he said to me, Pastor, I have a prayer point. I said, what's your prayer point? I am meant to be promoted, but by what I see, the promotion is not going to be possible. No. By what I see. I am due for promotion, but I made mistakes here and there. And as a result of my mistakes, I'm not sure. My, my name did not appear in the list of those that will be promoted. And I told him, you are bringing money for keyboard? He said, yes, bring the money. <laughs> bring the money. I told him, you will be, let me see that devil. <laughs> if you want to get God a keyboard and you will not be promoted, I don't. you will be, you, you are promoted. It's not possible. You are promoted. Oh, yeah. When they promoted him, they made him a regional head. Hallelujah. Praise God. And he must come. I told him, you must call me to testify. He called to testify. I'm not kidding. And if you give to God, he will embarrass you. Amen. Is anybody getting a prayer to say? Amen. I feel the anointing of God. So, 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 I want to talk about God. Glory. Glory. Believe. I love that man. If I say anything, he believes it. You must learn how to Ah, which one do I use now? You must learn how to be senseless when it comes to the That's it. That's right. That's it. That's it. That's it. You know your senses? Push it aside. Yeah. Push your senses aside. Yeah. Never try to interpret God. You are not his mate. <laughs> <laughs> Never try to interpret God. You are not his mate. Amen. His ways are far from our ways. You know, he can put money in the mouth of a fish. That's right. Amen. It's told me before. Are you, are you getting what I'm trying to say? You put money in the mouth of a fish. So don't say, how will it be? Just Amen. believe. That's because it. blessed is she that believeth. You know what is limiting us in the body of Christ? We don't have faith. Preach. We don't have faith. Now this prosperity seminar, get ready, get ready, get oh, ready. Yes. Oh, yes. This one days, get ready. Oh yes. Hallelujah. Get ready. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Yes. Have mercy. <laughs> After oh, this one day, you will pull out money like this. Oh, oh, hey, oh, you pull it out. Oh, yes. Your money is looking at you. Oh, you are oh, not yes. meant to be broke. No. No. You can never be broke another day of your life. Oh, yes. Your deliverance from being broke has come right now. Oh, Somebody pull it out. Pull it out. Hallelujah. Praise God. Glory. Uh, many, many people think that believing God is only when it comes to salvation. Believe the Lord. Uh, 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 believe the Lord Jesus Christ and you'll be saved. You and your family. Believe. Um, the word, uh, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in watch, watch, watch this. Believing does not only work for salvation. Mm. It works for your money. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> Second Chronicles chapter 20, verse 20. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. Believe in the Lord your God that shall be established. Mm -hmm. Believe also. His prophets. I like the scriptures. Believe also. Mm -hmm. His prophets. Yeah. prophets. Ah, that's why you don't want to joke with your prophet. Mm -hmm. yeah. When your prophet says anything, just take it like that. Mm -hmm. Amen. 
Believe also his prophet, and thou shalt prosper. Pastor, why is this important? This scripture is going to interest you. Go with me real quick to Hebrews chapter 4. Pastor, why is this important? Why is this? What, what I'm talking about, why is it important? Why is it important for us to believe? Somebody, we need to read it. There are scriptures I need you to see. I can quote it and just go on, but I need you to see it. Probably mark it in your Bible. There are scriptures that are very important, you see. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 2. Very important, you see there. Is anybody there? Hebrews chapter 4, verse 2. Who is reading? What does it say? Hebrews chapter 4, verse 2. For unto us. Watch, please. For unto us. Was the gospel preached. Was the gospel. Somebody said the gospel. The gospel. <laughs> say, say the gospel. The gospel. <laughs> unto us was the gospel preached. Yes, sir. As well as unto them. As well as unto them. But the word. But the gospel preached. Preached. Yeah. Did not profit them. Did not profit them. Not being mixed with not faith. Not being mixed with faith. In them that heard it. Hey. <laughs> I said there are scriptures you need to underline. Yeah. Mm. That you are poverty and the other person close to you in church is prospering, is traceable to faith. Mm. Amen. To us was the gospel preached that was preached to them. Mm. <laughs> but the gospel preached to them did not profit them. Mm. They couldn't make profit out of That's this. Right. Everybody making, was making profit out of this gospel, but they couldn't make profit out of this gospel. Mm. They couldn't prosper. Why? Because they did not mix the gospel with faith. And listen, your secret of prosperity is not attending prosperity seminar. You, I have seen people attending prosperity seminar from when they were born. But they never ended up rich. You know why? Because the same prosperity seminar that I attended, somebody attended it. One person became rich. The other person ended poor. Why? The same gospel, the same pastor, the same Bible, the same principle. As I'm preaching it, everybody's hearing it. The same thing. The same gospel that was preached to us was preached to them, but the gospel that profited us did not profit them because they did not mix it with faith. If you really want to get rich, learn how to believe. Amen. Trust me, learn how to mix it with faith. faith. Yeah, if pastor ever by mistake says from the altar that this week God will pay your debt, Amen. Don't, don't, don't ask how. Amen. Don't ask how. Amen. Grab the word and run with it. That's where the secret is. Same gospel. It's amazing. Same gospel. Mm -hmm that was preached to us, was preached to them. Mm. But when they look at us, we are the envy of the world. Mm. We have the best cars. Mm. We, have the, we, we live in a mansion. Yes. A mansion that we paid for. Hallelujah. Not, not, not mortgage. <laughs> not, go and deliver it from mortgage. Amen. Amen. Oh, I said, go and deliver it from mortgage. Amen. Everything you mortgage. The hair you used to fix your hair, mortgage. The clothes you wear, mortgage. The person you wear, mortgage. Your book, mortgage. Your shoe, mortgage. Your house, mortgage. Everything, mortgage. Go and deliver it from mortgage. Yeah. 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 When you look at your car, it's not mortgage. I own it. I pay for it. Complete. When you look at your house, it's not mortgage. I pay for it. Complete. You are rich. Oh my goodness. Somebody say, believe. Same gospel. Same gospel. You don't want to be in a place. We are the gospel is prospering somebody and it's not prospering you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And you, know, you will let that happen. Mm -hmm. I can't be in a church and the sister close to me is doing well. Mm. Same pastor. Same message. Same scriptural text. Mm -hmm. And the sister close to me is doing well. And I'm not doing well. Yes. God forbid. Hey. Yes. God forbid. And the reason, you've seen it now, the reason why somebody here is doing well and the other person is not doing well is because they don't mix it with faith. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Are we okay? Yes. Can we go to the next point? Yes. Three components of the kingdom, believe. Second one, let's deal with the second one. Receive. Mm. Let's deal with the second one. Lift your right hand again, say, Lord, I'm a skillful receiver. Lord, I'm a skillful receiver. Say it again, say, Lord, I'm a skillful receiver. Lord, I'm a skillful receiver. May God open your eyes on how to receive. Amen. 
For you to access the treasure in our kingdom, you must learn how to receive. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, you discover that many believe, but they don't know how to receive. Amen. It's another dimension to go from believing to receiving. Amen. Many of us, we believe, no doubt, but we don't know how to receive. Amen. And I said this, God will not do what you want. He has already done it. I say it again. God will not do what you want. He has already done it. Amen. God will not give you money. He has already given Amen. it to you. Hallelujah. Yes. He has already given it to you. God will not give you promotion. He has already given you promotion. Amen. 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 Are you getting what I'm trying to say? Oh, yes. God will yes. not give you a land. He has already given you the land. Amen. The yes. only challenge is that we don't know how to receive. Oh, there's nothing you're looking for that God will create. He has created everything you're looking oh, yeah. for. Yeah. 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 Oh, my God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Can I use a good example? Yes. Yes. If you set up your television in your room and you have a decoder right there and you have an antenna outside, whatever um, um, network you're looking for is already existing in the atmosphere. Yeah. Yeah. So what you have to do <laughs> is to keep setting your antenna. Keep setting your antenna with your decoder, your receiver. Somebody say receiver. receiver. Oh my God. Somebody say receiver. receiver. And as you continue to set it, you discover that you are trying to get a vision, but the vision is not clear yet. Yeah. 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 And people settle at that level. People settle at a vision that is not clear yet. You are a little bit rich, but not quite rich. No, I will keep setting my receiver until I get the picture. To be until I become as rich as I have to be, until I become as prosperous as I have to be. That is when I will lock it down. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? That's when I will save my setting. I, it's not good to save my setting. He has already given it to you. But the challenge, ladies and gentlemen, is that we don't know how to receive. I think that's the perfect Amen. example. It yeah. means that the, the, the station you're looking for, the, the, the TV station, the cable station you're looking for, exists outside it. So it's now, there's a frequency that you have to connect to. That's right. Yes. When you connect to that frequency, Amen. you get a <laughs> resultant event. You get the resultant event. When you connect to that frequency, you get the resultant event. Amen. It's there already. Other people are getting it. Other, if it's CNN you're looking for, other people are watching CNN. But I don't have CNN in my house. Something is wrong with your setting. Keep setting until you get it. Hallelujah. That's how to receive. If your receiver is not a good one, throw it away. I tell you. I don't have time. Most scriptures I would like to read, I won't read them. But if you go to Luke, John, sorry, John chapter 11. Ah. Okay, now, it's a known story, so you don't need to read the scripture. But mark the scripture in your, in your notes, but it's a known, very known story. But I didn't mean if we read it, you would have seen what I'm trying to look at. But John chapter 11, watch what happened. Jesus said, let's go bring Lazarus, our friend, from the grave. Let's go bring him from the grave, right? And watch, Jesus left with, with his disciples with the purpose of bringing Lazarus from the grave. The yes. first person that accosted Jesus was Martha. Yes. First person, Martha. Martha came to Jesus and said, if you are here, if you have been here, my brother Lazarus would not have died. Yes. Jesus said, he will rise again. And Martha said, yes, I know, on the resurrection morning. <laughs> I, uh, yes, I know, he will rise again, yes, on the resurrection. Jesus said, I am the resurrection Hallelujah. And he said to Martha, if anyone believes in me, you see that word, believe in it. Though he was dead, Amen. shall he live? Do you believe this? Martha said, yes, I believe that you are the son of God. Now, Martha was not giving Jesus. In fact, the Bible recorded that after she had that encounter with Jesus, she went to call Mary and whispered to Mary that the master is coming <laughs> and that he called thee. The Bible recorded carefully, if you read it. That Mary met Jesus where Martha left him. Mm. And that is the point I'm looking for. Mary met Jesus where Martha 
left him. It meant that Jesus, who was on a mission to come bring Lazarus off from the grave, got stagnated by somebody's attitude. Mary met Jesus where Martha left him. But watch, read on, John chapter 11. When it came to Mary, the first thing, Martha met Jesus with confrontation and accusation. If you have been here, my brother, what would have died? Confrontation. People don't know how to receive. You can never receive anything by confrontation. You can never receive anything by accusation. Do you understand? You must learn how to receive. Mary, Mary came. Watch what Mary did. The first thing Mary did, the Bible recorded that Mary fell on, on his feet. Hey, the way to receive is worship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do the way to receive is worship. Hey, Mary did not come to accuse him. Mary did not come to confront him. Martha came to confront Jesus and accuse Jesus. But Mary came and fell on her feet and worshipped. Oh, Jesus was moved. And your Bible recorded that Jesus wept. Hey, Mary's attitude moved his emotions. Moved his emotions. And he said, show me where you led him. Hallelujah. That's how to receive. That there are things you do, and God will say, show me what you want. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you want. Mm -hmm. uh, Solomon was a skillful receiver. Right. Solomon gave a thousand bonds of oh. God showed up. Hallelujah. God showed up. I said, Solomon, what do you want? What do you want? What do you want? There's a way to receive from God. Amen. Not by not by accusation, not by confrontation, mm -hmm. but by worship. Oh, <laughs> Glory. Yes, Praise God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God. Lift your right hand and say, Lord. Lord. Everybody, no, right hand. Lord, Lord, make me a skillful receiver. Make me a skillful receiver. Say, say, Lord, Lord, make me a skillful receiver. Make me a skillful receiver. Am I helping anybody in here? Yes, you are. Confrontation freezed the manifestation. Yes, sir. Worship released it. Amen. Confrontation freezed the manifestation. Jesus was caught. Mary met Jesus where Martha left him. It means that after Martha left Jesus, he didn't move again. Mm. Jesus was stopped in a place. He took worship. Mm. What confrontation stagnated or freezed, he took worship to release it. Mm. Mm. Skillful receivers. Another way that you can never receive anything from God is by complaining. Mm. 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 Complaining. Mumbling and grumbling. You know what Jesus said? Say, who amongst you that is so anxious that we add a cubit to his life? <laughs> if you read Numbers chapter 14, verse 27 and 36, you will see how God was angry about their complaining in the wilderness. God was very angry. Exodus also chapter 16, verse 7 and 8. Numbers 14, 27 and 36. Exodus chapter 16, 7 and 8. I love to give scriptures because I love to justify <coughs> my point. Yeah. It's important to me. You can't receive anything by grumbling, by murmuring, by complaining. Amen. You cannot. So you must learn how to receive. Amen. Worrying about anything can't fix nothing. That's right. Amen. Uh -huh. I said, worrying about anything can't fix nothing. No. Yes. Worrying about everything can't fix nothing. Amen. Complaining about something can't fix nothing. No. Amen. Anxiety is an extinguisher that will extinguish you out of life. Yes, no, that's, really, that's really powerful right there. Write it down. Anxiety is an extinguisher that will extinguish you out of life. <laughs> Anxiety is an extinguisher that will extinguish you out of life. Anxiety is an extinguisher that will extinguish you out of life. Apostle Paul said, do not be anxious for anything. But in all things, through prayer and supplication, let your request be made known to God. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. Do not be anxious. Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 and 7. Do not be anxious. For anything. Your anxiety is a sign that you don't trust God. Mm. Your anxiety is a sign that you don't trust God. Mm. When you trust Him, you will stand still and know that He's God. Amen. Do you hear that? Amen. Your anxiety, when, if you see yourself anxious, 
It's actually a statement you're making that you don't trust God. Amen. Any act of anxiety is a conscious statement that God, you know what, I don't trust you. Amen. God, I really don't trust you. <laughs> That's anxiety. Whenever you see yourself, you know, anxious, worried, troubled, it's actually a statement you're making, God. I'm not sure you can fix this. Mm. You're telling God he can't fix it. You're telling God he can't fix it. But you, learn, you need to learn how to stand still. Mm. You know what yeah. God said? God said to Moses, stand still. Yeah. Take one more look at these Egyptians yeah. that are making you to worry yourself. Mm. Say this is the last time you will see them. For the yeah. Egyptians you see today, you will never see again. <laughs> but stand still and watch the salvation of your Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Praise God. Learn how to, oh my goodness. Praise God. Peter was in prison to be crucified the next day, mm. yet he was sleeping. <laughs> you guys have to go. Yeah. He was in prison Amen. to be crucified the next day, Peter was sleeping. He was going to die the next day. <laughs> oh, you're killing yourself by your worries. We live in a society where, where we, we, we try to survive by antidepressant drugs. Mm. You, talk, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Everybody's taking antidepressant drugs because, because you don't trust your God again. Mm. Throw those yeah. nonsense away. Get your mind fixed on God. Hallelujah. <laughs> yeah. And depression will disappear. Amen. Mm. Oh, yes. Amen. I wish I'm preaching in here. Yes. This is a kingdom of reception. Amen. You must learn how to receive. Oh, Jesus was a skillful receiver. I'm trying to build up something. Amen. Jesus was a skillful receiver. Jesus was a skillful yeah. receiver. His yieldedness, if you allow me to use that English, Amen. was a powerful way to receive from God. And let me tell you, if you can also yield to God, there's nothing you cannot receive from That's him. That's right. Oh, if you can also yield to God, amen. there's nothing you cannot receive from God. Amen. It's not the yieldedness that you sing, yes, Lord, because your neighbor in church is singing, yes, Lord. No, it's the yieldedness that you sing, yes, Lord, because you mean yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, I sing, yes, Lord, not because somebody else is singing it, but because I mean, yes, amen. Lord. Yes, Lord, to your will. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, to your ways. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, to your demand. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, to your instruction. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, to everything you are saying. Somebody say, yes, Lord. Yes, it's Lord. not a song I sing because somebody is singing it. It's a song I sing because I mean it. I mean it with every fiber in my body. I mean it with every vein in my body. Yes, Lord, I, I can tell you yes in my dream. Tell you yes when I'm awake. Tell you yes when I'm walking the road. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I'm not withholding anything from you. I'm not hiding anything from you. It is yes. Yes in my mind. Yes in my intellect. Yes in my body. Yes everywhere I go. And until you tell God yes, you might not be able to receive what you're looking for. Amen. Because God is looking for people that will yield completely to him. Hallelujah. Somebody say yes Lord. Yes Lord. Somebody say yes Lord. Yes Lord. The question is do you mean what you're saying? Say yes Lord. Yes Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. It was yes Lord. That Abraham used to become father of all nations. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. It was yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Mm. You know why we are not receiving? Because we are not saying yes, Lord. Mm. I mean, I waited for this boy for many years. You can't just wake up and tell me to sacrifice him. Mm. You, can't, you can't say that. But men that know how to receive from God, they know how to say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yeah, even when I don't feel like it, yes, Lord. Even when I want to keep it, yes, Lord. Even when I suffered to get this Isaac, yes, Lord. Yes. So Abraham became father of all nations because he knew how to say yes, yes Lord. You know what is keeping us? We don't know how to say yes, Lord. God says to you, give him your car. No, Lord. Give him your money. No, Lord. Give him your life. No, Lord. Give him your mind. No, Lord. Everything God is demanding for you are saying no. You can't get the best of God saying no to him. No, no. Mm. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Somebody say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. If you say yes, Lord, to everything, and you don't say yes, Lord, to your valuable things, mm. you've actually not said yes, Lord. Mm. Yeah, that's right. I say it again. Yes, if you say yes, Lord, to everything, yeah. and you don't say yes, Lord, to your valuable thing, mm. 
You've actually not said yes, Lord. Did anybody get that? Yes. Did anybody get that? Yes. The rich young ruler, you know about him? In Mark chapter 10, verse 17 to 27. This guy came to Jesus. He came to Jesus and he said to Jesus, Show me how to enter the kingdom of God. Jesus said, That's that simple. Go and do everything that is written in the law. He said, Wow. Right from when I was a child, I've been doing that. Jesus, Jesus loved this. Jesus loved him. And watch this. Jesus said to him, Go sell everything you have, give to the poor, and come and follow me. The guy said, Nonsense. I'm not selling nothing. Mm. He walked away. Because, watch this young one. He has said, Yes, Lord, in everything. But he can't say yes, Lord, in that which is valuable to him. Mm. Mm. If you learn how to say yes, Lord, in everything, and you can't say yes, Lord, to that which is valuable to you, you are shortchanging yourself. Mm. Mm. When you cannot say yes, Lord, over anything, that thing becomes your Lord. Mm. Did anybody hear that? You cannot say yes, Lord, over your car. You don't possess that car. That car is that car. That car owns you. That's right. That's right. In fact, you are possessed by that car. Yeah. Amen. If you don't say no way, car, God say give your car. You know how many cars I've given? Say give your car. One day the church got and bought me a car. And people were wondering, why would the church buy me a car? I said, listen, before they bought me a car, they're giving people cars. Yes. Is anybody getting up there to say yes? That's right. If you can't say yes, no, no that car, you don't possess that car, you are possessed. By that car. That's right. Yeah. You are possessed by it. Amen. Whatever you can give to God, you are possessed by it. Preach. Amen. If you cannot say yes, Lord, over your money, you don't own that money. That money owns you. Amen. Whatever you yield to, more than you yield to God, is your Lord. Amen. Amen. <laughs> I wish I had been somebody. Amen. Yes, Amen. Now, I'm talking about Jesus. And how he received everything by yielding. The Bible said that Jesus humbled himself and died the death on the cross. That's yieldedness. And then God highly exalted him and gave him a name that's above every name. That's an dimension of the name Jesus. Every nation shall what? Bow. Let me see if you're with me. Every nation shall what? Bow. Hebrews chapter 2, verse 8 to 11. <coughs> and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord. Is Lord. But it wasn't an easy process. Mm. It's just that he yielded. In fact, it was so difficult that he said, Let me stop passing. Mm. Yeah. But Jesus was a man who was mindful of the will of God. He said, Nevertheless, not by will, yeah. but your will yeah. be done. Yeah. Not my will, but your will be done. Yeah. You will never get the best of God until you shift your will to let his will take the center stage. Yes, Lord. You never get the best of God until you shift your will to let his will take the center stage. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, I say that to say that Jesus' yieldedness was the reason why he received so much from God. Amen. He was really a skillful receiver. You want to know what Jesus received? There's another scripture that I need you to see. There are scriptures I need you to see and mark. That we have us open to it. There are many other scriptures that have been flying over, but there are scriptures that I need you to know in your Bible, mark it, memorize it, read it. It's going to help you. Jesus yielded to the will of his Father, and that made me understand that he was a skillful receiver. What have I said so far? When you don't grumble and you trust in God, even when you can't trust him, that's how to receive from God. Amen. Number two, when you come with worship, hmm. When you should come with complaining, but you come with worship, that's how to receive from you. Yes, Number amen. three, when you know how to say yes, Lord, yes, yes Lord, completely you debt to you. That's how to receive from you. Lord. Pastor so I, did Jesus really receive anything? <laughs> Revelation chapter five verse twelve. Open it. That is the scripture I needed to open. Revelation chapter five verse twelve. Revelation chapter five verse twelve. Is the you debtness? Did he benefit him? He received. He was a skillful receiver. Amen. Is anybody there? You, you want to open it and mark it in your Bible? Because uh, that's the kind of scripture you want to keep quoting over your life. Quoting and quoting and quoting. You wake up every morning and you quote it. Revelation 5, verse 12. My time is almost up, so you're going to be faster. Help me. Revelation 5, verse 12. Is anybody there? Mm-hmm. 
Philadelphia, you can help me read. The same with a loud voice. Watch, say it with a loud voice. Worthy is the Lamb. What? Who is the Lamb? Jesus. Who is the Lamb? Jesus. Say it with a loud voice. Worthy is the Lamb. Yes, sir. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain. Who was slain? To receive power. Hey, to do what? To receive power. <laughs> So do what I say you should mark this in your Bible. Yes. What is the love who was slain to do what? To receive power and riches. Hey. Go ahead, sir. And wisdom. Uh -huh. And strength. Yes. And honor. Uh -huh. And glory. Uh -huh. And blessing. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! What is the love who was slain to receive power and riches? And you want to be poor? They are coming to church with this, with this 1970 religious mindset. I think oh, when you are poor, God is trying to humble you. No. The Bible says the poor you shall have with you always. I am not part of them. I am mean, talking about that I have in me. Living inside of me. Hallelujah. The barnacle inside of me. The man who received power. Oh, goodness. I wish that would make you understand how powerful you should be. You see, diseases, you cast it out. Because the more living in you receive power. Oh, you thought Jesus received it for him? No. Oh, my God. Jesus, oh, you, if, if, then you have to understand the coming of the Holy Spirit. He said, yeah. all power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Yeah. Carry ye in Jerusalem until I endure you with the power. Yeah. Are you seeing what I'm saying? Yeah. So when he released the Holy Spirit, it was all that he received on the cross mm. that he put inside the Holy Spirit and he came down. Hey. Amen. Everything you see there is functional, should be functional in your life. Amen. You have power. Amen. You have riches. Amen. Oh God, say after me, I will never be broke another day of my life. I will never be broke another day of my life. Amen. Pastors desire Amen. will come to pass. Amen. That we understand what we are doing. Amen. Oh yes. From the pages of the scriptures. Amen. How that you are not connected to poverty and poverty should not be connected to you. Amen. From the pages of the scripture. He received power and I love it. The next one is riches. Oh. You know, I have a release now to stop. And that's, how he, that's how they do me. If he stop, tell me stop, I don't stop. Power and riches. Hallelujah. And wisdom. Let's, let's take it again. Oh, oh, hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Oh, God. Let's take it again. I, I just remember I'm not dead with responsibility. Oh, shut up. And I have 10 minutes. I can use my 10 minutes. No, no. Let's do it again. Number one, he received what? Power. Number two? Riches. Number three? Wisdom. Number one? Power. Say, I have power. I have power. Mean it to say I have power. I have power. Honestly, say it with faith. Say I have power. I have power. Number two, what? Riches. I have riches. I have riches. I am rich. Say I'm rich. I am rich. Say I'm rich. I am rich. In gold. In gold. I'm rich. I'm rich. In silver. In silver. I'm rich. I'm rich. In land. In land. I'm rich. I'm rich. In real estate. I'm rich. I'm rich. In my account. In my account. I'm rich. In my children, I'm rich. In my future, I'm rich. I'm not poor. Money. Money. Come to me. Now. They received riches. The third one. Wisdom. They received wisdom. wisdom. Mm -hmm. Ability to know what to do or to do it. Mm -hmm. Wisdom. Say I'm wise. Uh, I'm wise. wise. The fourth one. And strength. And strength. strength. Mm -hmm. Let the weak say I'm what? I'm strong. You are not weak anymore. Mm -hmm. Not the fifth one. Honor. 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 Shabara. When, when, when you appear in a place, an honorable person just showed up. Mm -hmm. Honor forbids people to look down on you. That's, That's right. right. Amen. That's right. Can I say that again? Yes. Honor forbids people to look down on you. That's when right. you're an honorable person, people will look down on you. That's right. You received honor. I have honor. I have honor. I have honor. Say that. Say I have honor. I have honor. Is it finished? Glory. 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 You, know, you know, everything there talks about wealth. Amen. That's right. Glory. 
Is it finished? No. And blessing. And blessing. Oh God. I wish I wish you hi. I wish you understand this. Somebody say blessing. Blessing. Say now say blessing. 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 Riches, glory, blessing. In this, how many? Seven package mm -hmm. yes. that Jesus received. Three. Three talks about money. money. Yeah. <laughs> Riches, glory, glory, blessings. Riches, glory, blessings. And you want to be poor? Mm. In Nigeria, where I come from, I go ask you something, they worry you. <laughs> Is there anything wrong with you? <laughs> Is anything wrong with you? Why would you want to be poor? No. How can you possibly be poor? No. I cause poverty. Amen. Amen. I said you will Amen. never be broke another day of your life. Amen. 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 Let me use my ten minutes very wisely. Amen. Is anybody being blessed? Oh, yes. Amen. If you are being blessed, I need to put your hands together and appreciate God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Quickly do this, and then um, I'll be through. Somebody say responsibility. Responsibility. Number one, say believe. Believe. You remember that's where we started. Mm -hmm. Number two. Number two is what? Number two is what? Receive. Okay, let's go over it again. Number one is what? Believe. Say that. Number one is what? Believe. Number two is what? Receive. Then number three is what? Responsibility. Responsibility. Watch this. Three components on how to assess anything from our kingdom. Believe. Believe. Receive. Receive. Hallelujah. This kingdom is the kingdom of responsibility. That's right. Amen. We can no longer afford to have kingdom of irresponsible kings. Amen. This is not a kingdom of irresponsible bunch. This is a kingdom of responsibility. You know the Bible say the Bible said in Amos. Amos chapter 6, verse 1. Woe to him that is at ease in Zion. Amos chapter 6, verse 1. Woe to him that is at ease in Zion. At ease in Zion. Woe to him. Amos. Amos chapter A M O S. Amos chapter 6, verse 1. Woe to him that is at ease in Zion. You are, you are, you are not active. You are lazy. This kingdom does not support laziness. Amen. Did anybody hear that? Amen. I said this kingdom does not support laziness. laziness. <laughs> Let me connect this. The point we just finished was reception. Yes. And reception magnifies the place of the grace of God. The awesomeness of God's grace. Amen. That's what reception deals with. A position where what is this? You don't have to do anything to have anything because everything is already done for you. Yes, Lord. Yeah. That's grace. You don't have to do anything to have anything because everything is already done for you. Hallelujah. And that's the truth. Everything is already done for you. That's grace. Now watch this point that we are dealing with now, which is responsibility. Shows that I don't want to abuse the grace of God. I don't want to abuse the grace of God. I don't want to abuse the grace of God. You know why? Because God loves participation. Mm -hmm. See, God loves participation. God loves participation. Yeah, you got it. God loves partnership. Mm -hmm. He loves partnership. Yes. God loves partnership. He loves participation. In Peter and John. Just saw the man at the beautiful gate and just waved at him. <laughs> that man would never have been healed. Mm. Never. Mm. Never. But we are carriers of the grace of God. Amen. We have to understand how to walk the grace of God. Amen. God loves participation. He loves partnership. Amen. He has given us the grace of God. We carry the grace of God. So he needs for us to go to that man at the beautiful gate Amen. and tell him silver and gold we don't have. Amen. But that which we have, we give unto you in the name of Jesus. Rise up. Oh. If they didn't do that, the man will remain crippled. Yeah. Amen. That's right. So most of us, we have grace. But grace does not mean it should be lazy. Amen. Amen. The grace of God is released already. 
But the grace of God manifests through responsibility. What is responsibility? Very simple. Respond to your ability. The grace of God is released, but it cannot manifest unless for responsibility. It means that Peter, we are carrying the grace of God. The mere Peter job, carrying the grace of God. But if they don't go to this man and manifest that grace, if you don't want to partner with God, that man will remain crippled. Am I making sense to someone? Yes, yes, So yes. the Bible says that the endless expectation of the creature awaits the manifestation. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. That is the call for responsibility. We are all responsible people in church. Hallelujah. We preach grace as if grace supports laziness. Fold your hand and do nothing, and God will bless you. That's a lie. Grace does not support slothfulness. Grace does not support laziness. When you see the sick, lay your hands. And then that's how grace will walk through you. Amen. So Amen. grace is already released, but it functions through responsibility. Amen. If you are with me, just put your hands together and appreciate God. Yeah. 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 How five minutes to go? What how I will use my five minutes? Responsibility. What's that? Respond to your ability. Responding to your ability. That's what responsibility is. I know the reason why people are poor is because they don't even know they have ability. And they don't respond to their ability. The reason why many are broke in the church. Speaking in tongues, yet broke. Falling under the anointing, yet broke. Spirit feud, yet broke. Because they don't know how to respond to the ability. They live from paycheck to paycheck. They don't know how to respond to the ability. You have divine ability inside of you. Yes. And you must learn how to respond to it. Watch this. Watch this. You can never be blessed by a pay job. No. Hey, hey, this is coming. This is coming as wisdom to those of us that work. Yeah, this is coming as wisdom. Learn this wisdom right now. You can never be blessed by a paid job. Most of all, before the salary call, we'll finish it. Especially in this culture of mortgage, everything yes. is mortgage. <laughs> mortgage everything and mortgage even your life. You can never be blessed by a paid job. The Bible never said that is the job of a man that makes it through for him. No, no, no. The Bible said it is the gift of a man that make it